What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get to this. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> the news broke. Um, I'm a little late reporting on this, but I just want to kind of get you guys feedback on it as undefeated super i mean excuse me not undefeated but uh the current super middleweight champion of the world canelo saul canelo alvarez he is uh 59 wins two losses two draws um he is eyeing his ring return uh, <clears throat> for september 16th i believe and it's kind of crazy because the ring return he's eyeing is uh the potential opponents are the current cruiserweight WBC champion of the world, Badu Jack, um, and the current middleweight champion of the world, WBC middleweight champion of the world, um, Jamal, Jamal Charlo. Now, a lot of people, including myself, were like, why would he uh, take that fight over the David Benavidez fight, especially after Al Heyman came out and put the offer on the table of $50 million to fight David Benavidez either um, <clears throat> in September or sometime in de December. Um, a lot of people are, you know, saying that this is a clear duck move. This is one of those moves where he's trying to avoid David Benavidez. And in my opinion, it's 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 kind of hard to say not. He's not. Uh, he is kind of hard to say he is not avoiding um fighting jamal jamal charlo would be um in my eyes and in many other people's eyes the easiest route to go seeing that jamal charlo has been out of the ring for almost for over two years now at this point um he had you know some issues outside of the ring i believe some mental health issues he was dealing with um uh, other issues amongst that also, um, fighting, uh, <clears throat> also he last fought in, uh, June of 2021, uh, against Juan Montiel, I believe his name is, got a unanimous decision, he didn't look his best in that fight, so a lot of people were thinking, like, why would he take this fight, Jamal Charlo's gonna come into this fight as a heavy underdog anyway, um, the location for this fight, they're trying to, uh, secure i believe it to be in uh the t-mobile arena las vegas or the mgm Grand. um <clears throat> now with badu jack badu jack he last fought in uh i believe saudi arabia um where he won the wbc title via stoppage um that was on the undercard of jake paul versus tommy fury um <clears throat> a lot of people were counting him out because of his age but you know, he proved to be the better man on that night and he fought. It was a really, really, really good fight. Um, <clears throat> now, in the case of David Benavidez, he was last seen in the ring March 25th against um, Caleb Sweethands Plant. That saw him get a 12 round unanimous decision. Um, a lot of people, including myself, felt that uh, Kenny Bayless, the referee, allowed Caleb Plant to hold um, a lot during the second half of the fight. And that's where you've seen um, David Benavidez come on really strong in, this, in the latter half of that fight. Um, he definitely was putting, you know, in, in, in short terms, he put a beating on Caleb Plant. And um, <clears throat> he, uh, he won that fight really convincing. And he's pretty much what you would call the mandatory for Canelo. He should be. Um, so, I don't know what type of purses have been offered yet, but I did read that the deal with Badu Jack is 90% done. So, we'll just have to wait and see what um, comes of that. But yeah, you guys, um, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming for you guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I appreciate all your comments, likes, shares. Thank you guys for everything. 
Uh, let's see. What do you, what do you guys want to see? Would you rather see Canelo fight David Benavidez like everybody else? Would you rather see him fight Badu Jack? Nobody wants to see. Would you rather see him fight Jamal Charlo? Nobody wants to see. You guys let me know. Thank you guys. Peace.